is eroding the very foundation of who we are as an American people. Rowan Atkinson, the star of the British series, TV series, Maigre, said, it is like a medieval mob coming to burn witches. That's what the cancel culture is all about. How about taking an, an analogy from George Orwell's 1984 novel, where they take history and they throw it into a shoot and, and they revise history constantly and you can't even control what you think anymore. That's what cancel culture is becoming. How about from a book called uh, The Girl with Seven Names about a courageous young woman who escaped from North Korea and she tells us how North Korea did the same thing. How about China under the China, Chinese Communist Party as, re, as reported in the 100 year marathon by uh, Mr. Pillsbury who wrote that book. That's what's, what we see happening. This attempt to erase who we are individuals and then replace them with something else. Let me give you some other examples. Pepe Le Pew, no longer tolerated by the left, by the woke mob. Miss Piggy, canceled. Dr. Seuss books, canceled. Here's some others. How about this one? The Goya Foods, because, because this guy had the temerity, Robert Uenua, who's the CEO of Goa Foods, had the temerity to support President Trump. So he's attempted, people tr attempted to boycott and cancel his business. Senator Josh Hawley writes a book. He's canceled because he says that he wants election integrity. How about Washington, Lincoln, and Jefferson? San Francisco erases those schools named after Washington, Lincoln, or Jefferson. Matthew Iglesias, the liberal opinion writer, resigned from Vox, a company that he co-founded because his woke staff says, oh, he's too center-right. How about Tucker Carlson, Sean Kennedy, Laura Ingram, all attacked, all attacked for being conservative voices. And what is the attack? It is to silence conservative voices. The new rule is we will only be tolerant if you are accepting of our views. Not just accepting, if you comply. Not just compliance, you bow to the tyrannical rules of the left. Gina Carano, the Mandalorian actress, she's fired by Disney because she says, that being a Republican in 2021 is like being an, a Jew in Nazi Germany. So she's got to go. They cancel, they cancel uh, the action figure named after her. Adam Rubenstein, former New York Times reporter and editor. He's got to go because he lets Tom Cotton's piece get published in the New York Times. Oops, we can't have that. J.K. Rowling, the very successful author of the Harry Potter series. She is canceled because she has the temerity to suggest that... Um, Transgender rights in, might endanger women's rights. You can't have any, any conflicting view out there. No, you can't do that. Um, and then Mike Lindell, you know him. He's the My Pillow guy. He's on TV all the time advertising. You can't have him because he's a friend and supporter of Donald Trump and questions the election results. We have reached a point in our society where the left says, if you do not bow your knee to what we say is the new norm, the, and the only acceptable dogma. If you're a heterodox in any way, we are going to cancel you, we will dox you, we will erase you, and that it cannot stand, and it will not stand. And this group, I thank the gentleman from Colorado, we will continue to fight this outrageous, this outrageous attack on who we are as an American people. With that, I yield back.